Our news just in, Abdul Zabar Koharaman, an Afghan lawmaker contesting this week's parliamentary election, was among four people killed on Wednesday by a bomb planted under his seat. He's the 10th candidate to be killed in the past two months by hardline Islamist militants. Terror group Taliban claimed responsibility for the attack. And meanwhile, female candidates running for seats in Afghanistan's parliamentary election have expressed hope to bring change to their country. There are about 417 female candidates, more than ever before, who are all set to contest the election this year. Women candidates running for the seats in Afghanistan's upcoming parliamentary elections recently expressed hope to bring change in their country. Zargona Valoch, a candidate in the upcoming poll, said that women in the country have so far played a very weak role in politics and that these polls will bring a change now. There are about 417 female candidates, more than ever before, who are all set to contest in the election this year. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Afghan capital Kabul, another female candidate, Maryam Sama, urged Afghan people to vote for her in the upcoming polls. Sama wants to bring a special focus on women's condition in the country and hopes to create a juridical committee that can follow legal cases for women. کمیته اختصاصی حقوقی برای زنان ما میخوایم ایجاد بکنیم که دقیقا بتونه مسئله زنان مسائل حقوقیشان به صورت مشخصش دنبال بکنه شما وقتی وضعیت زنان در افغانستان میبینین باید به صورت خاصترش پرداخته بشه under the constitution of the country at least 68 of the 250 seats in the lower house of parliament are reserved for women afghanistan is scheduled to witness the crucial parliamentary polls on october 20